BigOven.com is a social network about food with over 170,000 recipes. One of the most common uses of the site is to search for recipes, so let's go ahead and search for something right now. By clicking here and typing in my keyword, let's look for uh, lasagna in the title of a recipe. Big Oven's found 515 lasagna recipes, and I could page through them if I want. By going forward, by default, Big Oven's going to sort them overall by uh, overall quality rating as well as number of ratings. You can see here this number one lasagna on the site has an average of five out of five stars, and it's received 16 comments from people. So let's go check it out. It's probably a pretty good recipe. On the recipe detail page, Big Oven's going to link the ingredients in the recipe to detailed articles about each ingredient. So if I want to learn more about ricotta, like where it comes from, I see that it's actually dating back as far as ancient Rome, as well as things like, can I freeze it? Storage tips. It says ricotta does not remain fresh long. Wrap in tightly sealed double layers and freeze if necessary. So I can learn a lot more about the ingredients in my food. I'm going to go back to the detail page. And here are the full instructions for making it. Big Oven's going to recommend some similar recipes. Also, here's recipe links. Any of our 450,000 members can link one recipe to another recipe. In this case, I previously linked this recipe to tossed salad, suggesting if you're going to serve lasagna, you might consider adding a tossed salad. And I can click on this recipe and get immediately to the directions for that recipe. I'm going to go back to the lasagna article, and I'm going to add that to my Try Soon list by clicking the Try Soon button. Now, the Try Soon list is unique to Big Oven and represents uh, recipes that you might want to try in the next 30 days. We use this instead of a more detailed meal calendar because, let's face it, today's dinner plans are frequently changed, and this allows you to have an upcoming list of recipes you might want to try soon, just to help you get unstuck for dinner. I can rearrange my Try Soon queue uh, at any time. Let's put this, bump this all the way to the top, and then when I go to Big Oven, it's going to show, the home page is always going to show my Try Soon queue. And by the way, I can get access to that via the free iPhone app, or via any web-based cell phone as well. So if I'm out and on the go and I'm stuck for dinner at 2 p.m. trying to figure out what to make, I can always refer to my BigOven.com Try Soon queue. That's in contrast to the favorites list. The favorites list, and right now you can see up here I've got 139 favorites, these are remembered permanently. The Try Soon list, Big Oven's going to clear out 30 days after you add each recipe. So 30 days from now, this awesome lasagna recipe is going to automatically expire from my Big Oven Try Soon queue. Let's say I've tried it, and I, of course, want to go down and add a rating to it. I want to add my own rating, and I do that here by entering, entering my rating information. Then I might want to add it to my favorites list, and I do that by clicking favorites. These buttons can toggle on and off, so I just click it again, and it unmarks it. Green is on, and red is off. I could even email it, let's say to myself or even to my wife. I can print it. I can even publish it on Twitter if I'd like, simply by entering my Twitter username and password. There are lots of ways to search the site. Another way of searching BigOven.com is by entering a few keywords. Let's say I'm in the mood for a sweet side dish. Now that's unlikely to appear in the title of a recipe. Let's search anywhere in the recipe for those keywords. Here are a whole bunch of sweet side dishes. It's kind of fun to play around with. You can say summer grilled chicken. And here's some great options for summer grilled chicken. I love this recipe, by the way. It's a great one to try. Grilled lemon lime chicken over angel hair. 
because I've posted this recipe, Big Oven shows an edit recipe link for me to go in and make changes if I'd like. And I can go in and make these changes and post them back to the site if I'd like. Here are a couple other ways to search the site. Have you ever been in the produce department and wondered what's fresh now? Well, Big Oven knows that it's May right now, and the larger the font for these items, the more likely it is to be fresh in your area. This data is for the Northern Hemisphere. If you happen to live in the Southern Hemisphere, you want to go down here and click this button. But we're here in Seattle, very much in the Northern Hemisphere, and I can see that boysenberries are in season in May, and peaches are really coming into season, as is watermelon and corn. By clicking on any of these, of course, Big Evan's going to show you all the different things you can make with corn. Another fun way to search the site is with Big Evan's unique leftover wizard. Right now in my fridge, I've got, well, I've got mushrooms. I'm going to type M and go pretty quickly to mushrooms. I've also got a little bit of uh, cheddar cheese, let's say. And I've got some ground beef. Big Oven's going to think, and it's found 117 different recipes that I can make to use up those ingredients in my fridge. Click the button, and in a minute it's going to suggest them for me. Oh, Mexican stuffed peppers. Well, it's Cinco de Mayo, so maybe I'll actually add that to my try soon list as well. You can also, at any time, see the recipes that have gotten the most recent four and five star reviews. If I want to just narrow down the recipes with photos, I click recipes with photos. This is a great way just to get some seasonal inspiration. You can find out what some of the other people around the world are making. I can also find by flavor. If I know a few of the flavors that I want to have, and actually Big Oven has a few for you here to try. Let's say, oh, this classic Italian trifecta of tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil looks great. Here are all the different recipes that use that great classic Italian trifecta. And of course, on the left-hand side, I can also browse uh, by, by category, for instance, by cookies, or I can see all of the grilling recipes at a quick glance and then narrow down those things that are grilled and appetizers. This is just a really quick overview of the site. We hope you get a chance to check it out in more detail.